Hi everyone, welcome back to Center the Moments channel. I'm Julian Matt. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all safe. In this video, I want to talk about Roger Dove's Parfum Cologne collection, uh, which actually the brand sent to me for review purposes. And so I'm very excited to talk about uh, this uh, collection from Roger Dove. Uh, so here we go. And first I have here, this one is Enigma. So I will just show you uh, this uh, box, just one box because I have the full presentation of the five uh, fragrances that, well, they are part of the Parfum Cologne uh, collection. But I will just show you one because, well, it's uh, all of them are the same except for Elysium, actually. I will show you here that Elysium is a bit different, as you can see. Uh, so Nonetheless, good, great bottle presentation, uh, nice presentation. Of course, it's not, well, the uber luxurious presentation of other fragrances from Kojadov, but after all, these are more um, inexpensive when considering to other fragrances from Kojadov. Uh, each fragrance, these, these are 100 ml bottle size. These are all Parfum Cologne concentration, which I don't really know what that means, so maybe it's Eau de Parfum, it's not Parfum, but Eau de Parfum, or maybe Eau de Toilette, I don't know. I'm guessing that it's Eau de Parfum, um, and these, uh, the price of each one of these is 270 euros at retail. So, still not the most affordable fragrances out there, but nonetheless, more inexpensive than your usual Roger Dove. So this one here is a very well-known fragrance. It is Enigma. This one right here. I absolutely love the bottle presentation. So I will take it off. Absolutely love. So you can see here you have a velvety material inside. Really nice presentation. I mean, it's not the most luxurious uh, and most complex and most unique presentation nonetheless it's solid but what i really love is the bottle absolutely love this bottle presentation this is enigma um i tried the original parfum enigma but it was a long time ago so i don't really remember how it smells uh to compare with the parfum cologne it's just i really love the attention to details here um, so Enigma is, it has the cola, that Coca-Cola vibe that the original uh, Parfum, everyone says that it, it has, I don't recall actually, but this one has the Coca-Cola. I will spray here and you also will see the mist. It's beautiful. Um, Oh, but it's so good. On skin, it's even better. And that's the thing that I realized with these fragrances from Roger Dove. They smell much better on skin, at least on my skin. On paper, it's funny. Like, on paper, it, it's more aromatic. You have the Coca-Cola vibe, but it's definitely much more aromatic than on my skin. So I will just read you the notes briefly of uh, Enigma. So Enigma, we have bergamot in the top, geranium, heliotrope, jasmine, neroli, may rose. Um, this is in the heart. And in the base, you have ambergris, benzoin, pepper, cardamom, cognac, ginger, patchouli, sandalwood, tobacco, and vanilla. So, and that's the other thing with all of these fragrances from the Parfum Cologne uh, collection is that they are quite complex. They have tons of notes listed. But again, here it's definitely more floral, more aromatic, more citrusy with the Coca Cola vibe in the background. On my skin, actually, the floral nuances are very toned down and I get much more the boozy Coca-Cola vibe and it's definitely sweeter on my skin, which I absolutely love. Uh, so I much prefer Enigma Cologne in on paper, on my skin, <laughs> rather than on paper. And that's why uh, for me, when I first tried these fragrances from the Parfum Cologne, um, I was not impressed because, well, I just test them on this test trip and 
I was definitely not impressed, especially for the, t the price tag. Nonetheless, tr I still think that after testing them on my skin, of course, I much prefer them on my skin and I have a different opinion already. I still find them a bit overpriced for what you get. Nonetheless, I think this one might be the most unique of the five. Definitely, it's Enigma. The most unique is this one. Uh, absolutely love uh, Enigma. It's perfect for fall and winter time. And it, these all can be signature scents. Maybe this one might be a bit heavier when compared with the other ones. But still, I think this none of these fragrances are loud and none of these will choke you out, will fill a room, let's say. So I think these, all of them can be perfect signature scents, but this one might be a bit too heavy for that. Nonetheless, it's great, love Enigma, perfect for fall and winter, good performance actually, and it's a nice, sweet, a bit boozy um, with the coca-cola vibe it's wonderful i again i don't know if the original i guess that the original was a bit more thicker more heavy after all it was highly concentrated and so i'm guessing that the boozy nuance is more more heavy there than are in here nonetheless i absolutely love uh enigma parfum cologne i think you need to try on your skin now the next fragrance that we will talk about is um, Scandal, this one right here as you can see, uh, beautiful again, same type presentation, same box. Um, Scandal actually was my least favorite and I will tell you by the end of this video I will be ranking uh, these five fragrances and you will see which one is my favorite. This one is the most mature, the most classic, the most old school of the five. This is more herbal, this is fresh, green, floral, a bit citrusy. This is definitely like an old school man's fragrance. Now, the notes of Scandal are basil, lavender, petit grain, uh, lemon, spearmint, tarragon, jasmine, lily, violet, may rose, and then you have cardamom, ambergris, cashmere, and cedar, musk, rhubarb, sandalwood, tonka bean, vetiver, and patchouli. So, again, tons of notes listed, but you see uh, that this will be more herbaceous, more aromatic, more citrusy, a bit woodsy in the base yes this was actually my least favorite on my skin again much much better but i will also spray uh, this fragrance on this test strip that i have and on the test strip this is a bit too harsh okay but actually funny enough maybe because i already got used to the scent um not so pungent than it was before, at least for me. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is funny <laughs> because the first couple of times that I was testing Scandal on the test strip, it was too harsh, too piercing, just too scratchy. But now I get this beautiful spearmint citrusy with the basil the basil actually it's quite prominent here and actually this is how i perceive this fragrance on my skin on my skin this is so much better much better uh the spearmint or the minty nuances are have a more natural feel with the citruses and then the herbal nuances with the basil slightly floral not too much uh, I mean you will not get jasmine or lily of the valley or rose like too intensely uh, this is definitely more green herbal citrusy minty and musky a bit woodsy in the base this is a nice fragrance and 
a perfect signature scent. Of course, this is more for a more mature gentleman type of um, profile, scent profile, but oh, <laughs> sorry for that. But nonetheless, this is a great fragrance. Scandal, not for everyone. I think, for example, Enigma might be more appreciated if you are not used to niche fragrances, I will say right away. I think this one is more challenging considering the scent profile where is more um, mature, more old school. So because of that, I think this, because of the sweetness of this fragrance, the boozy nuances, I think this, you might enjoy this bit more than Scandal. I will tell you which one I prefer, but nonetheless, these are very different from each other. Um, and I think this is a more everyday type of scent than this one. I feel that this one is more for special occasions. So Scandal, great performance again. All of these fragrances actually last. They, it's not that they project, um, at least on my skin, I didn't feel like a major projection but a more longevity. These fragrances last through the entire day. Now, next fragrance that we have here is um, Vetiver, I think. Danger, it's danger. Here you have, because you don't have the name of the fragrance in front, you have here on the back of the box here. Um, so this is danger absolutely love this bottle presentation again i love the color this red coloration here look beautiful really gorgeous presentation uh so danger danger for me was a bit of a letdown when i tried because it reminded me of heritage from garland which i have actually so here you have the spray and yes, right away, right away, you get the patchouli woodiness, a touch of lavender that is present in Guerlain's Heritage. And I have the Eau de Toilette, which is the best version in my opinion. It's the most complex version. Yeah, this, the first spray, the initial spray is Heritage through and through. So you have, as for notes, bergamot, lemon, lavender, you have tarragon, jasmine, violet, lily, ambergris, cumin, cedar, cloves, leather, galbanum, uh, vetiver, tonka bean, and woody notes. So you see you, there is a DNA in these fragrances. So because, for example, in Scandal, you also had the jasmine, the lily, uh, the may rose, the violet, uh, and even in Enigma, although Enigma just has the jasmine and the may rose here, also have the ambergris. So you have a lot of similar common notes between all of these fragrances. But uh, Danger, I'm sorry, Danger here, Although it starts off very similar to Heritage, then it goes in a different direction. On paper, because on skin, the patchouli sandalwood nuances that you get in um, Heritage it's more, are more prominent on skin, at least on my skin. And then it starts to develop and starts to be different, a bit more floral and definitely a bit more woodsy. And so this also has its deviations, it has its own character, but it has, it shares similarities. I mean, it's it's just there. Uh, the similarities are just too prominent uh, in this fragrance, Danger, uh, which for me, it's not a bad thing, not at all, because I absolutely love Heritage. It's probably, well, not the last great Guerlain. I think the last one is Lich, L'Instant de Guerlain uh, au Extreme, which now is L'Instant de Guerlain au de Parfum. But I think that one was the last great Guerlain, uh, but it was the second last, Heritage from Guerlain. Absolutely love this fragrance. This one goes in that territory. So if you love one, you will absolutely love the other. The only downside is again the price. I mean, 
I, abs I love this fragrance, I love Danger, but it's not the most unique because it shares this similarity with Heritage, like I told you. So 270 euros for a fragrance that it's similar to, well, another fragrance that, well, you can buy for a third or fourth or tenth of the price. Um, I mean, it's hard to justify, uh, but nonetheless, the quality is here, the complexity is here, the performance is here. This is, again, leans more into the masculine side of things. This is perfect for fall and winter, but again, this can be a signature scent. Uh, but I see myself wearing this more during the fall and winter time. Um, great fragrance, again, Danger from Khojadov. Uh, it's the only downside, it's really its price tag. Uh, and so, that being said, let's go with let's go with this one, which is probably the most talked about, the most well-known Elysium, and it's the only one that has a name in front of the box. Uh, so Elysium doesn't need any introduction, I guess. Um, and this fragrance, beautiful. Uh, seriously, I absolutely love the bottle presentation. Here is Elysium. So I took Elysium and I already talked about Elysium because I took Elysium with me during my vacation period. Um, and I have to say, I was kind of a hater of this fragrance, I need to admit, uh, because this is Roger Dove's take on a blue fragrance. Um, but this is actually really good. <laughs> this is good. Uh, I have to admit, of course, again, 270 euros when you can buy, for example, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum, which is for me the best Bleu de Chanel version and also the best uh, blue type fragrance. Um, and it's definitely more affordable than Elysium. But Elysium is like mix between Bleu de Chanel with Aventus. The end result is absolutely fantastic. This is the best or the true signature scent type of scent. It's definitely Elysium. Out of the five fragrances that I have, I think this one is the most likable, the most mass appealing, the most versatile fragrance of the five. It's definitely Elysium. In terms of notes, you have bergamot, uh, lemon, grapefruit, lime, lavender, apple, blackcurrant, lily, vetiver, juniper, cedar, vanilla, and labdanum. So you have a lot of uh, citruses, you have lavender, you have the blackcurrants, you have the apple. So you see, you have uh, the apple, the blackcurrant that you can find in Aventus from Crete. Uh, you have the lemon, uh, you have the citruses that you can find in Bleu de Chanel, um, and then you have a more um, complexity in the base. This for me is a perfect signature scent, definitely. The performance is good, it's not amazing, it's not that it will last you through the entire day. Actually, when compared with all the fragrances, uh, the five fragrances of Roche d'Or, this is the one that the performance, at least on my skin, it's not that great. I mean, it doesn't project that much. And, I mean, it projects. I, I have to say, no, it projects. In the first couple of hours, actually, it's quite loud. But then it's closer to my skin and then, well, fades away after six, seven hours max, which is not bad. It's average. Um, it's definitely not bad. So. But when compared with the other four, this one, it's uh, the one that has, well, the weaker performance, which is not that weak. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, Elysium, it's a great fragrance, has a natural feel. I mean, the citruses of this fragrance, wow, the, the lemon with the bergamot, I mean, it's so well done. They definitely have a natural feel in here with the lavender. I mean, it's very well done. I absolutely love the opening of this fragrance. Yes, it's not the most unique, again, not the most complex fragrance, no, but for what it is, I think 
it's really well done it has a natural feel and yes it's the best blue fragrance uh, at least in the niche side of things which you i mean you don't have i mean parfum de mali also have a blue type of scent but you have a lot of blue fragrances in the niche side of things sorry for that um but if you want a very versatile other than just a Ventus fragrance, a mass appealing scent. I think this one is a great buy. And I will be honest, I prefer this one to Aventus, not just because of the batch variation, which is incredibly annoying, but also because of the price tag. This is more affordable than Aventus right now or Aventus. Uh, this is 100 ml, 270. Aventus is 100 ml for over 300 euros. So or 290 now I don't recall but it's again still more expensive than Elysium so if you want a fragrance that it goes like in the direction although it's the scent character it's still different but it serves the same purpose of Aventus I think this one is a fantastic alternative I was hating this one and now I really do like it. Um, it's a no-brainer type of scent and again, great quality scent. Uh, and so the last, but definitely not least, this is Vetiver, is one that it's uh, missing here. So I will show you Vetiver. But, and again, doesn't have anything in front of the box, like doesn't have the name in front of the box. And so you have Vetiver. Again, beautiful bottle presentation. This is green. I love the fade nuance. I mean, absolutely love, 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 love the bottle presentation. So, vetiver. Man. This has become one of my all-time favorite vetivers. Oh, man. Th this is so... It's dry. Uh, it's grassy, woodsy, it's earthy and it's so real, it has a natural feel. I mean, the Parfum version of Vetiver was very well praised in the fragrance community back in the day. Um, now I think that's discontinued and they replaced it with the Parfum Cologne. I'm telling you, this Vetiver is unbelievable. No, I will just spray actually I didn't spray Elysium but well it's more well known uh, it's more talked about um, vetiver yeah it's <laughs> absolutely stunning um, yes it goes in the vein of uh, gray vetiver from Tom Ford Eau de Parfum which I have and absolutely love oh but this is more intense the vetiver here is definitely more intense it's citrusy and vetiver wow not the most unique vetiver no because again i just remind myself of tom ford's gray vetiver de parfum but mm, it's it's a bit better i have to say now in terms of notes in vetiver you have lemon bergamot uh litsia uh you have may rose jasmine cistus vetiver guyacwood cedar nutmeg pink pepper galbanum caraway and oak moss wonderful 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 scent for me i get lemon bergamot very effervescent and sparkly with vetiver right away and the vetiver here it's grassy it's earthy it's woodsy it's simply to die for in the in the dry down you get actually cedar with a mossiness in here which is actually quite interesting and uh, gives more body and more complexity to the fragrance to the vetiver itself i absolutely love vetiver vetiver is already the parfum cologne it's already one of my all-time favorite vetivers and actually this is the reason why i will do Soon enough, I don't know when exactly, but I want to do a top 10 favorite vetiver fragrances. This is stunning. I don't know if it's, I prefer this to Sultan Vetiver, 
I guess not. Because Sultan Vetiver, it's just way too intense and too complex and too thick, you know. Um, and this one, it's a bit thinner than when compared with Sultan Vetiver, but it's still intense. It still it has a natural feel into it, which I absolutely love. Um, and again, the blend is, it's done really well. It reminds me, it goes more in the vein of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver like a more intense and more complex great vetiver or the parfum from tom ford but nonetheless it's still different and if you love vetiver please check this one out it's already one of my favorite vetivers uh, and actually it's the one that has the best performance of the five and so that speaks to itself now let's rank these fragrances uh, so, number five, it will be Danger. And not because I don't like Danger, but again, it's just that opening, um, it's just too close to Heritage from Garland. Um, I love it, I really love it, but when I'm paying 270 euros, I want more uniqueness and more originality. Nonetheless, it's a great sense, high quality fragrance. That's not what I'm complaining here. I'm just complaining about the uniqueness. Um, so number five, danger. Nonetheless, great sense. And the number four spot will be scandal. Uh, and scandal because I need to be in the mood to wear this type of scent because of the old school herbalness of herbaceous nuances of this fragrance. I mean, I need to be in the mood to wear this one. It's a more serious scent, but it's fantastic. It's a great old school scent, a great herbal green aromatic scent. I really do enjoy this one. Scandal number four. Now, and the number three, Elysium. This is Elysium. Um, very versatile, very likable, mass appealing, everything that you already heard about this fragrance. Um, and it's a no brainer. And although it's a blue scent, it is, but the ingredients, the blend, actually, it's incredible and i was even surprised when i while i was wearing this one it's really the citruses are incredible what is, it's the opening is one of the best openings that i already tried so yes number three is elysium no number two is enigma absolutely love this one um only not number one because it's not very versatile. I mean, I don't see myself wearing this one every day, but it's a close second. And I love the Coca Cola vibe, the booziness, the sweetness. So good. It's so good. And you have still the bergamot in the opening to, well, light things up a bit more. But this makes this fragrance is a fantastic fall and winter time scent. Enigma Parfum Cologne. And, well, last but definitely not least, number one is Vetiver. I love Vetiver, and this one is the one that surprised me the most. I was expecting a more, well, thin, a more okay Vetiver. I mean, not complex, not just another vetiver fragrance. It's not. It's definitely not. It's incredible. This is a, also a stunning signature scent, um, which I highly recommend. And uh, this is perfect for fall, for spring, more because of the green grassy uh, nuances that vetiver has, but. The performance of this makes a fantastic signature scent. You have also the citruses on the top, which, well, you can wear this, which makes you wear this and want to wear this during the more uh, harder days. 
I think vetiver, it's fantastic. Um, a high quality, high quality vetiver. Uh, so again, my number one, my favorite fragrance from the Parfum Cologne collection from Roger Dove is vetiver. And again, beautiful bottle presentation. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, tell me in the comments down below if you already tried any of these fragrances. Tell me if you have a favorite, a favorite fragrance from this collection. Again, these are overpriced. I have to say, although this was sent to me for for free, <laughs> and I did not even ask. I mean, it was amazing. I was very excited, and it was a pleasure, and it will be a pleasure for me to experience even more these fragrances. All of them have a natural feel. All of them are high quality scents. That's not. I'm not questioning that at all. I'm just questioning the uniqueness of. Uh, some of these fragrances um, but nonetheless I highly advise you to try them give them another chance um, like for example I was a hater of Elysium but after experience it on my skin after wearing it and testing it more often I, I see it with totally different well I smell it differently <laughs> <laughs> so again guys give always second chances to some fragrances that you might not enjoy at the first glance uh, at the first try give more opportunities to test and maybe you will change your opinion tell me in the comments down below if you're ready and if you uh, enjoyed this video guys and see you in the next one take care ciao